Most people just use sticky notes and good notes for leaving comments or notes, but they're honestly way more useful than that. I'm going to show you seven ways I use them to plan, reset, and stay on top of everyday things. Expect practical tips you probably haven't tried yet. Hiya! If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Nikki, archaeologist by degree, digital planner by passion, and I'm here to share productivity tips, app help, digital planning tutorials, and a dash of delightful randomness. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if that sounds like your cup of tea. Unlike pre-made stickers, sticky notes allow you to write directly. You can resize them and color code as you go. There's no need to dig through files or worry about perfection. You can personalize them on the spot. Scrolling through paid sticker packs, that can take a lot of time. Well, with the sticky notes feature, just tap, drag, and you're done. It's that easy. You can build flexible systems with your sticky notes. Move routines, reuse checklists, even track habits. Color code by category, handwrite or type, add doodles or highlighter, whatever suits your style. Tap on the pen icon in the toolbar to switch to edit mode. Tap on the sticky note icon which is between the elements tool and the image tool. Then tap on the sticky note shape and choose between square, wide or tall. You can also pick the sizes, small, medium or large. Next you can choose the color you want for the sticky note. You can pick one of the default colors or click on the custom button to choose a color from the color grid, color wheel, add a hex code or select a color that you previously used in the history option. You'll notice that the sticky notes you have previously used appear on the right hand side and you can scroll through these options to select one. You can use your Apple Pencil or the keyboard to type directly into the sticky note. When you tap on the sticky note, a menu appears. Tap color to easily recolor the sticky note. You can also resize the sticky by using the handles in the corners to resize it. You'll notice that your name, or in this case, me, appears in the bottom left corner. Tap on the sticky and click hide the author if you don't want it visible. The collapse option basically minimizes the sticky note. When you click on the icon, a comments window will appear. This displays a thread of comments related to a particular section of text, where users can reply to each other's comments. When additional comments are added, a number appears in the bottom right corner of the sticky. When comments have been resolved, you can either tap the sticky note and select the resolve option in the menu, or you can view the replies, then tap on the three dots in the corner and tap resolve. If you want to be able to view which comment stickies have been resolved, toggle on show resolved comments. If you want to reposition the sticky note, make sure that the sticky note option is toggled on. At any time during the month or even the year, you may have a list of tasks or a checklist that you need to attend to, but you haven't yet confirmed deadlines for. This is what I call it a to-be-confirmed task or a recurring checklist. It is super useful to have a blank page after your monthly divider, for example, where you can write lists of these items. When you figure it out, when you want to get them done, you can easily copy the sticky notes, resize them and move them to the necessary page of your planner. Just remember that if you want to move the sticky notes to another page, you need to use either the default text of the sticky note or your own handwriting. You have the option to move the sticky note from page to page as you cross or tick off items on the sticky notes. You can create a sticky note dashboard or what is more commonly referred to as a Kanban board, a visual project or task management tool. I have an idea column, in progress, a waiting and a done column. But these different columns can be customized to suit your needs. You can easily move and recolor the stickies as their status is updated. You can also duplicate this template and reuse it as required throughout your planner. Some days you may find that you need to do a big brain dump. It's great to help you remember what you need to accomplish that day and clears mental clutter to help you organize your thoughts as well as help you prioritize your tasks. You can write down big tasks or small tasks, random thoughts, then you can organize them into categories. 
I have color coded my categories as you can see by life areas, but you can also color code by urgency level, as in if things are urgent and need attention ASAP, if things rather be categorized as future tasks or just let it go categories to figure out what you actually need to attend to today or this week. You can either copy or cut the sticky notes and move the stickies to help you write info into your planner templates or add items to shopping lists, set due dates or just reminders for tasks. There's no time pressure so this brain dump page can gradually be attended to as you figure it out. You can use sticky notes with bold headings to draw attention to important info on your planner pages. You can also color code these priority style stickers to suit your needs. I have yellow for due today financial notes or time sensitive admin tasks, orange for work specific tasks, purple for wellness related info, green for booking reminders, pink for communication related priorities and blue for reviewing or reviews. You can also use stickies for habit or goal tracking and then you can move these around and duplicate if required. You have the creative freedom to make the tracker in many ways. Simply track your main habit for the day or the week or track several habits. Change the color of the sticky as required. Within my planner, I have a blank page that I fill with color coded stickies. You can choose your own affirmation categories and colors. At the beginning of the month, I type in the affirmations that I resonate with. From the sticky dashboard, I can copy and paste motivational stickies across my weekly and daily planning pages. If you like meal planning, sticky notes can be useful for tracking your meals across your monthly calendar layout. You can easily move these planned meals across the calendar layout as required. So if there's a particular meal that you want to repeat, you can easily move these planned meals across the calendar as required. You can even use different color stickies for breakfast, lunch, dinner or snacks. Part two of using sticky notes is going to be coming next week and looks at how you can use sticky notes for general note taking. Which sticky note trick are you going to try first? Let me know in the comments and if you found this video helpful, tap that like button. Okay, bye.